on the site for sure. That doesn't think you're back crazy if you talk to animals. If anything, we quite like it. Now, my assistant, as always, is the delectable and handsome all-round good guy, although he can be a bit of a silly sausage at times, is Ian Lee! Yeah. <laughs> handsome. Right, when I was told about my panel of stunners tonight, I threw my hands up and shouted, no way, Jose, it can't be done. Well, it can, and it has. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, some people may call them a super group, but I like to refer to them as the powerhouse trio. It's body language expert, Judy J. <laughs> Performance coach, Kate Morrow. <laughs> I'm a resident psychologist, Dr. Funke. <laughs> <laughs> that is the panel of dreams, ladies and gentlemen. Dreams! Yeah. Ian, you better work your game tonight. It's like an episode of Loose Women, isn't it? And I'm Carol <laughs> McGiffin. I look like her a bit, I think. A little bit. Um, OK, so I'm getting the feeling we all need a little bit of a recap. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Well, here's the week in exactly 91 seconds and nine frames. Emma! Everyone's talking about me all the time. Don't ever think you can speak down to me because I swear to God you can't. Physically now, I do have a problem with you. OK. Here we go, fireworks. I'm fucking sick of you. Don't interfere, chauvinistic pig. Why are you lying? They're not really who they say they are. Bridges have been burned. Even Sophie said you're a fucking scumbag. No, you're a fucking scumbag. Things are gonna get messy. Ooh. Ooh. I can't hold on. We look like idiots. <laughs> oh my god! If I stand up once more and feel gunge in my fucking vagina, I will go crazy. Who do you think you are? Oh. Dexter. Shit. Shit. Wolfie. Everyone knows I'm going to make it to the final. Gina. Hello! Dan. What is wrong with me? Yeah, no! no. <laughs> what do you have to teach me? Does anyone want an apple from the fridge? Gina. Dexter. Tonight was a fake eviction. <laughs> Dan is still here. He's here. He's here. Do you think you'll make a good team? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Thousand percent. <laughs> what a catch up! Yeah. What a catch up! Exciting week. It's it been really has good. been an exciting week. Well, Kate, hello there. Hello. Welcome back. I missed you last week. Thank you, Frankie. I missed you. <laughs> Welcome too. back. Uh, did the public pick the right pair to go into the house? Uh, absolutely. Uh, choosing Dexter and Gina to go into the safe house was uh, completely the right choice. Um, they are like com comedic, they're going to be hilarious, they're both very dramatic mm -hmm. and, and I look at them as like characters, you know, it, it was like Big Brother's Bond villains or, oh. or like Austin Powers, you know, Dr. Evil mm -hmm. and, and there's Gina, his, his rather glamorous but mm -hmm. slightly dim assistant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 indeed. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, Dexter in particular seemed a tad <laughs> overwhelmed. Let's remind ourselves. They haven't been voting to evict. What? They've been voting to keep you in. son he's still alive he's down here De 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 dexter is for me one of the top three big brother contestants of all time he, no, he is up there he's up there with nasty nick and that girl that shoved that bottle up her vagina oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 
Judy, what did you make of his reactions there? Yeah, honestly, you're believing what you want to believe with his body language. Don't fall for really? it. Really? Everything is an act with him. I mean, once he got in the diary room, we got naked, full frontal gloating from both of them. I mean, they did hand rubbing. <laughs> they did a little bit of uh, palms up. Oh, you know, we're not sure what's going on. But then after that, and then you saw the look of absolute lust in their eyes mm. when Gina heard the word luxury mm. and when he heard the word power. I mean, this is going mm. back to the evil villain thing. Dr. Funke, a big seal of approval from, from the British public. I, I guess that's going to mean a lot to both of them, isn't it? Uh, absolutely. Right now, they are feeling on top of the world. Three weeks in a row, the public have saved them. And better still, they've given them the house of luxury. Now they will go back with all this power and it's going to really influence how the dynamics are being portrayed in the house. Oh, can't wait. Judy, they got, they, as soon as they went into the, uh, the safe house, Headphones on immediately. Were you surprised by that? No, not really. I mean, they've probably, I mean, they've watched it in other programmes. I mean, they couldn't wait and find out what's being said about them and everything like that. But I, are they going to use this power wisely? I think they're a little bit too stupid to actually use it well. Uh, along those lines. I mean, we all saw her when she watched that video. I mean, she should have come back in fighting. And she ended up fighting with Wolfie, didn't she? She's not good on strategy. Okay, knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Dexter and Gina could become the ultimate power couple? Uh, just for the time being, I, I think just in a kind of fantasy uh, kind of way, obviously with Big Brother support, I can't wait to see what task they're going to be set for this week. Um, but the thing that I absolutely love is that Dexter's face changes. You know, we've got this character that's, that when he relaxes, it's like this slightly lost sort of prepubescent mm -hmm. schoolboy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then when he turns, you know, the, the eyes <laughs> close and the knives start coming straight out <laughs> oh, and then an the evil thing comes in and I absolutely love it but I reckon um, that Dexter's actually grown a pair this week Oh, oh he's grown a pair oh, And you know how I can tell because when I'm hearing the voices in their performance the tone and pitch of Dexter's voice has dropped a bit Oh, oh okay then mm. well, Interesting observation there, Kate Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, well, they're definitely up for it. They're definitely up for it. Jeepers Creepers, get your peepers on this. This has been the best big brother ever. Oh, my God, yeah. Just look at him. Just look around. What a twist, though. Oh, my God. We in the house where there was hated housemates. The public actually really like us because they actually see that we're good people. And in the house, all we is a And Hazel needs to be out next. Secrets of lies, I love you. Yeah, she's had a lot of Ooh. 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 such a good question. Hello, hello. Um, Judy, is there danger that they're getting a little bit too cocky? Yeah, I mean, arrogance has got to be the worst emotion to show in the house. Yeah. And as I say, I think they'll do all the talk, the talk and everything in there and then they'll get out and just want to be friends with them again. So, but I think they need to be careful because we're watching them and we don't want to see them mm. being too cocky. Because the other housemates, actually what they'll probably end up doing if they come in too harshly, they'll probably unite the rest of the house against them. And yeah. that'll be a big problem for them. Mm. Oh, work. Oh, mm. work. What's going to happen? <laughs> Dr Funky, you know, they seem to have a very strong relationship now, yes. uh, Dexter and Gina, but what about when the twist is over and they go back into the house? Well, it all depends on how they play the game. From what we're seeing in the last 24 hours is that they're going to be a tight force. And I think they will go into the house with the knowledge they have, with the power that they have. I don't think they will manipulate as, we th as more than what they have done in the past. I think they will play this game really well. The other housemates now will have to decide, do we align with Gina and Dexter or do we form our own group? But they're such a powerhouse that mm. I think if I was a housemate, I would align with Gina and Dexter. Gotcha. No. I hope they fall in love and make babies. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Kate, Dan, this whole Dan mm. thinking that Wolfie is, is fake and is an actor is getting on my nerves. Now that she's <laughs> been saved, in inverted commas, do you think he'll leave that, that idea alone? Uh, he might do, but if you notice, as soon as uh, Gina went out last night, was it Gina? They heard the booing for Wolfie. Yeah. Outside, oh, that annoyed me. The right? audience were booing yes. the people that were in. And, and oh. then he heard them cheer for Gina and Dexter. Yeah. So uh, Dan said, uh, oh, that doesn't sound right. Something doesn't seem right. So he might be onto that. But it just depends 
how uh, he decides to play it, whether you just leave Wolfie alone for a bit, because he knows that his actions in that are what helped get him up for nomination. So hopefully we'll go from Desperate Dan that we've seen this week back to Dan the Man. The audience, oh, no, 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 no. It up. The audience balls it up last night, didn't they, with that? Oh, you, well, you're very disappointed. <laughs> I am very disappointed. Very harsh. Very harsh. Very harsh, but harsh. you know, what were they to do? I want Dan the Man back anyway. The mighty threesome has spoken. Well done. Thank yes, you for that. <laughs> <laughs> but what are Gina and Dexter making of their new digs today? Should we find out? Yeah! Well, let's take a look at a very special edition of Diary Room Uncut. Oh, and it's an exclusive fact. <laughs> Hello, Dexter. Hello, Gina. Hi. Hello, big brother. Which housemates are you most looking forward to spying on? Hazel's becoming more and more interesting. She's bitchy and she's two-faced, and I really, really want to spy on her because I know that she's been probably bitching about someone in the house and then being very, very pretentious to their face, and I just want proof of that. Big brother does appreciate the care you're taking. Yeah, you chose the right people. <laughs> Definitely. And had it been a real eviction last night, who do you think should have been evicted? Wolfie. Wolfie. She's not a nice person, that's why. She's too cocky and overly confident. Like Dan says that she's natural, I don't think she's natural. I just think that she's got a little bit of insecurities and she lies and sort of manipulates and sort of stirs, stirs the pot um, to cover her own back, basically, and make herself feel better. And she likes the power as well. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. How did the housemates react to your exit last night? They seem happy and comfortable. But they're also a little bit worried because now there's no easy targets or sacrificial lambs. They're going to have to sort of... They even said it. Yeah, really, really think about who they're going to evict. Dan and Wolfie now think they've been saved. Do you think their behaviour will change? I think it gave Dan a little bit of a confidence boost and I think it gave Wolfie a kick to the teeth. So now, now she's trying to sort of get the public back on her side. Because as, as an avid BB watcher, she thinks she knows what the public wants, but I think she's clearly failing epically. <gasps> yes. Dexter, are you glad to get away from them? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm missing the house, but I'm glad to get away because now I can sort of see and not overanalyse because everything's in front of me in black and white, and I'm used to that. So then when I go back, I'll be in a lot sort of stronger position. And by the time our safe house journey ends, I will, I will know exactly what to do at the right time. Gina, will you miss anybody? No. No one at all. Not one bit. Not one person. No. So good to get away. I don't know how it is, Gina. Oh, how it is. so peaceful up there. Down there. Oh, it is nice. I, I don't care about no direct sunlight. I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it'd just be like, oh. I don't need to see that for a whole week. <laughs> I'll be happy. It's like luxury quarantine. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. If there's nothing else, you're free to quietly return to your safe house. Brothers bit on the psych. We are so smart. We're actually studying for our doctorate. Yes, yeah. but, but mm. unlike Dr. Funke, we're getting owls from the internet. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't get it from the really to you. Um, power <laughs> couples go hand in hand, like cheese and crackers, which I love. By the way, I, I love cheese and crackers. I love. <laughs> um, now, one couple spring to mind, Dan and Hazel. But has their golden reign ended? Well, let's have a look at the rise and fall of what I'm going to call from now on UPC. Huh? Mm, ultimate power couple. Oh, no, you don't like, like it, baby. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I love you always. <laughs> Come on. Uh -huh. She used to spend a lot of her time with Dan, but she doesn't in one. It literally just seemed to happen overnight. Yeah? Yeah? High five into her. <laughs> <laughs> I've said to Hazel, who, if I'm honest, was my number one connection in this house. I've told her I feel isolated, I feel on my own, and she's not come back to me at all. That was ten hours ago, and that has really, really disappointed me. It really has. I'm doubting everything at the moment. <laughs> No, just picking up on a bit of an attraction there from yeah. her point of view. There's more to it, to it than just yeah. kind of being friendly. I tried to say last time when I brought it up. Feeling a bit more 
not wary of her, but a bit less connected um, compared to even a couple of days ago. Ain't got no sympathy for Dan at all. He's brought. It, I think he's brought it on himself. But Doctor Funky, where do you think it all went wrong for Daisel? Daisel. Do you mean Dan and Hazel? Dan and Hazel. <laughs> yes, I've, I've, I've read like over the names name. to save time. Do you know what? I think Hazel from the beginning. She has been one of the ultimate alpha females. She obviously clocked Dan because he was the favourite. Everyone in the house liked him. He got on with everybody, and she linked with him as soon as he was up for nomination. It was like a split of a second. She went straight to Daly. Why did she go for Daly? Daly's been the only housemaid that hasn't been nominated. So she's already meticulously thinking of her next move. If this goes on, I think it'd be bad for both of them. All right. Judy, Hazel claimed uh, Dan needed space. Yes, so did you buy that? Yeah. I, there's a lot to admire in Hazel, but this was, I think, her worst moment yeah. today yeah. when she actually said to him, when you said you felt lonely, I thought you wanted me to leave you Absolutely. alone. I mean, what she meant was, I thought that your failure might be contagious. <laughs> so I got the hell out of the room. I mean, it was she just ran so away. Awful. She yeah. ran. She didn't walk. She was off. Yeah. I mean, yeah. On your mark, yeah. uh, Dr. Funke, uh, Dan actually gained a lot of power, maybe through Michael, the people's puppet. Uh, mm -hmm. Did he lose it when that became old news? It's not. Dan could have played this really well. What You know, when it was a Michael situation, he was right. He was the puppet. But what Dan has done is just continuously, he's latched onto Wolfie. But it's not only Wolfie. He's gone to each other housemate to go against Callum. So he's actually trying to infiltrate people's minds to get him on his side. He's not doing well for himself in the house. Oh, no! Sorry. Um, Kate, you know, we've seen Wolfie. She was brilliant. And now, you know, she's slipping a little mm -hmm. bit. How much did Wolfie's bully accusations mm. really mark a turning point for that? Um, well, I think they're actually bully shit uh, accusations <laughs> because uh, <laughs> the thing is, Wolfie has the best vi victim card oh. up her sleeve than I've ever seen as a character. Mm. If something's not going her way, ah, and and it doesn't ring true and that's what Dan is onto because he's he's dealt with thousands of wolfies in in his life and he can he can just smell it Ah. You can think you can smell on that side. <laughs> Absolutely sniffing. <laughs> She's a fisher woman, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, um, Joe actually stood up to Dan this week. Mm. Are we going to see more of that from other housemates? I think, we, I mean, I call his group the babies, and I think what's happened, now the baddies have gone and they're not threatening Mummy Jackie's group, mm. I think they feel that they're in a nice, safe crèche at the moment, and what that means is they probably will have little squabbles and fights. But don't you just love Joe's techniques? And you can see he's had such a good sparring partner, that argument with him and his twin. They've also oh, been doing brilliant. that all their lives, so yeah. he's going to be quite formidable yeah. when he comes to argue. Very good at arguing. I wouldn't like to get on the wrong no. side of Joe. Oh. Dan, Dan, I tell you what annoys me about Dan, it's his widow's peak, it's that little pointy bit of hair. Don't He's got there. No, it does. Leave him it alone. does. Not yeah, you, you've got a soft spot for that because he's so hunky. He's oh, well. just So, Dr. Know. Funky, what Dan has needed this week has been constant reassurance. He's one of the neediest housemates in there, isn't he? Well, he, we're seeing that he's obviously got kind of low self esteem. What Dan has done, he's gone into Big Brother House and seen it as a project. Big mistake. You cannot detect, be a detective for Big Brother. So, he thought that he's one step ahead of Big Brother and he's continuously thinking about what's his next move. I guarantee this week that he'll be thinking something's not right um someone else is um, a mole or something so he's treating this as a detective piece of work and it's not and that is a guarantee from dr <laughs> funke um, <laughs> don't get many of them guarantees um, now judy hazel's gone from dan to daily two very attractive men um is this a game plan I mean, we're told she's intelligent, and I think she is. If it's a game plan, it's the most rubbish pants game plan <laughs> ever. Because if she'd ever watched Big Brother, always there's been a beauty in there that started flirting with yeah. all the guys and become so unpopular with the yes. public, it's unbelievable. Yes. Yeah. It might make her a little bit safe in the house, because she will be quite formidable. Mm. But outside, she's going to get voted out and hated if she's not careful. Mm. Funky, like the other girls, they're getting a bit annoyed with Hazel, aren't they? Well, what we're seeing, because you know everyone says, oh, Sophie's really quiet, but Sophie has shown some really interesting interactions. Remember when Hazel was talking and she's saying, oh, she's a product, and has Sophie questioned her, what, you're, you know, your body is what you are, who are you as a person? And then when she was caressing daily, Sophie gave her those daggers, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little undertone of arguments. Kate, where does Hazel go from here? Um, I think straight to the front door. <laughs> uh, she's, she's going to go out. It won't be very long now because Hazel yeah. is ruthless. 
and uh, for me she's a bit of a boa constrictor mm -hmm. she she does the the guys with the eyes mm -hmm. and then she starts wrapping them right round and then squeezes the life out of them mesmerizes mm -hmm. them and uh, the girls can see see straight mm -hmm. through it she's she's a bit of a man eater and she's oh. not a girl's girl and that's why we think that Gina is popular because Gina's a proper girl's girl she Definitely. would not steal your man Judy Hazel is obviously a very strong woman why is she uh, feeling she has to align herself with men I think she's a little bit lazy. I mean, I don't think she's got any active leadership tendencies. She likes to knit her own alpha, doesn't yeah. she? I mean, yeah. she saw Daly sitting around like some rusty old inactive, yeah. inactive alpha, and she obviously thought, I'll have that one. Uh, it, it's a bit like, you know, why would I bother walking to the shops when I can drive a car? So she's now in the driving seat yeah. with this kind of but alpha creature. She is well fit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's well fit. Um, great chat from you, Ian. And great chat from our panel. Thanks. Well, uh, but what else would you expect from this trio, eh? The dream team. Uh, right, hold on to your hearts. Really, heck, it's only another exclusive. Last week, your fellow housemates chose to nominate you. Would you like to get some revenge on the group? Yes, oh, we yes. Well, today, Big Brother's going to give you the opportunity to cause some mischief in the house. Are you ready to cause some mischief? Yes. yes. Our two housemates that we would like to be put in jail would be Daly and Wolfie. Consider it done. This is Big Brother. The viewers have decided that Daly and Wolfie should go directly to jail. I ain't done nothing, I'm innocent! All right, darling, that's what I always tell you. Down, prisoners. Hello, Dina. Hi, Big Brother. Which housemate would you like to clean the entire house from top to bottom? Hazel. Okay. Hazel. Your wish is Big Brother's command. Thank you, Big Brother. Gina. Yes. The hatch is open for you to collect your bubble bath. Yes, thank you so much, Big Brother. This is Big well. Brother. The viewers have decided that Hazel should clean the entire house from top to bottom. <laughs> you look cute. Oh, I have to clean all the house, Where's that? That's um, lie, Hazel! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all happening. Right, it's form room time. Gone are the ex-housemates. It's all about you at home tonight. Yay! Who have we got online? One. We've got Doug from Blackpool. Doug from Blackpool! Hey up, Doggy! I uh, you Doggy, Doggy, what have you got to say for yourself, mate? Oh. Right, well, first of all, I'd just like to say it's quite an interesting couple of housemates that have gone into the secret safe house because Dexter and Gina used to be two of the absolute least favourites. And now they've really turned themselves around and they've shown themselves and what they can do in the sort of, you know, interesting personalities that they are. I mean, Gina especially is I was surprised. I was surprised that Gina got such a big cheer when yeah. she came out and found a huge yeah. cheer. She's really shown herself to the public and she's proved herself with loads of moments like the diary room and the arguments that she has with Big Brother when Big Brother gets angry with her. It's absolutely fantastic. It is oh, brilliant. It. Yeah, and um, I think they're both quite insightful as well. So having those two... Well, let's, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's not get carried away. I wouldn't say, listen, we're going to end yeah. it there on that they're nonsense. They're not insightful. <laughs> <laughs> Who's our next caller? Thanks, Doug. Elizabeth from Coventry. Elizabeth from Coventry. Hello. Hello, darling. How are you? Oh, oh, I, was, I, was, I was expecting a lady. Yeah. <laughs> no, I am a lady. I, was, I have to apologise. <laughs> Ian, you've Hi. got a very lovely husky voice, Man's Elizabeth. Voice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Right, what? Talk to me, Elizabeth. What do you want to say? I, I just think that it's a real shame that uh, Wolfie didn't go in um, uh, because I, I personally think that People are underestimating her. She's, she's, she sort of says things before thinking, which is, which is why she's in the situation she's in. She's never had the opportunity of um, having a, a lifestyle, a luxury lifestyle, and that, that <sighs> would be wonderful. So, be an absolute treat for her to oh, be in that would same be. house. She is so blood... Oh, it's because I'm fat. Oh, it's because I'm a lesbian. Oh, it's because I'm a... F no, it's because you're not a very nice person. That's she why. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, mate. You're talking absolute rollocks. You reckon? Ah, all right. I'll, calm I'll, down. I'll, I'll be in Coventry next week. I'll come and have a word. <laughs> I do, sir. Tell I'm splitting yeah. you two up. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Who's calling number welcome. three, please? Bye -bye. It's uh, Rebecca from Romford. Rebecca from Romford. Hi, AJ. Hey, Hiya. Hiya. I'm loving the twist. The Amazing. Right to, the right to have gone in the safe house. Do Those you think that so? voted Wolfie in, so as to see her face, when she thought she was going to be evicted. Uh, would have only seen pure gold for two minutes, whereby oh. now she's full of herself, 
thinking she's safe and we can all enjoy it for a week. And more so, Dan is so far up his own backside and full of his own importance. There's the lovely Jackie. She's telling him she knew he was safe. There's Hazel buzzing round Rebecca, him. Rebecca, we're getting a whole recap from yeah, you, aren't listen, we? Listen, <laughs> there's Hazel buzzing round him. She'll drop him like hot potato once she realises it was a fake eviction. She's a user. Rebecca, can I ask you, sorry yeah. to interrupt, uh, uh, if we were to let Dr Funke go as a regular member of the team, yeah, would you I like come? to come in? Can I come? I'm your biggest fan. You... Oh, there you go. Any time. But you're, what's my name? You're here, like There you? we go. Well done. She Ian. can go. Your book, Rebecca. Ian, <laughs> your book. We've got you're... one more call. Who's the last Thanks, caller? Rebecca. We've got Ryan from Basildon. Oh, Ryan from Basildon. Hello. Hello. I've never been to Basildon. Is it nice? It's nice and sunny. <laughs> oh, great. Well, lovely. What, what are you going to say about the, the Big <laughs> about Brother? Big Brother. Um, I just wanted to say that um, I wish that this week would have been a normal eviction just so that Wolfie could have hopefully have gone. Oh, um, no. But apart from that, the safe house is a brilliant idea. Would you... Go on. Oh, sorry. No, go on. You see, the thing is, I love the fact that it's Gina and Dexter rather than Dan and Wolfie, but actually, I'd have liked to see Dan and Gina. Would you agree, Basildon? Yeah, def yeah most definitely. Basildon, <laughs> on that bombshell, we'll say goodnight. <laughs> Ta-ta, Basildon. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> What a lovely bunch of people. That was fantastic. Great stuff. And do you fancy, maybe next week we could come in here and do it again? Do it again. The phone's, you mucky pup. You're the mucky You're pup. The You're the mucky pup. You're the mucky pup. Right. I so just need to go for a poo. So it's all right, I'll leave you. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I couldn't hold it. Too much information, Ian. Right, still to come, more in-depth psychological natter as we talk Callum and his favourite subjects, mothers and daughters. So don't you dare go anywhere. <laughs> Brothers bit on the psych where we go so deep into the issues. It's like rehab, isn't it, Ian? I was visiting a friend for a month. <laughs> Jack and Nori, I'll tell you a story and it's an exclusive. Dexter, Big Brother has prepared two prison lunches for the inmates. One of these lunches consists of a lovely cheese sandwich, salt and vinegar crisps, some apple juice. The other lunch is a stinky bishop cheese sandwich, salt and vinegar grasshoppers, and bird spittle and fungus juice. Which inmate would you like to give the nice lunch to, and who's getting grasshoppers? You know, you know who needs to get that. We've made our decision. Oh, shit. Yeah. No! That is nasty, man. No way could I drink that. I'm telling you the truth. Mm. Yeah, thanks, mate. It made me feel better. Move away from my fucking stinking cheese. <laughs> oh, broom. buckets. <laughs> about that is that she was repulsed by it but she still put it in her mouth. <laughs> Come on, we've all done that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the saying goes, you can choose your friends but you cannot choose your family. So how are the Travers girls getting on in the house so far? Let's check this out. Need a hand? Oh, Need a hand? What, to dance really with Dan? Really I don't really think really so. so. Ooh. <laughs> Mum, calm Do down. You? No, Charlie, I'm having my say. Don't interfere. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Mum, why I'm do you all... say stuff so silly? Because I thought it was quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> It was very cringy. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. 
Lucky Travels is doing it. Now, Kay, we have yet to see one of the famous mm. arguments. Do you reckon they just said that to get into the house? Uh, no, I think they probably do argue at home, but not about world politics or, <laughs> or anything like that. I think it's probably more things, domestic things, about, you know, picking up dirty laundry or not loading the dishwasher or what time Charlie came in last night. Right. And I, I think in the house, those things just aren't going to translate. Mm. Uh, but I think Charlie's getting a bit irritated mm. by her mum. Um, but it's, they're all very jolly hockey sticks, aren't they? Judy, she is getting upset. We've seen Charlie trying to calm Jackie down. Is there's kind of an ab fab type relationship? <laughs> and, uh, it's this myth that, you know, you get older and you get more mature. I mean, she's just having good fun mm. in there. Oh, it was yeah. embarrassing. I, I think, no. Oh, it was embarrassing. <laughs> oh, embarrassing. Silly old woman. <laughs> She's mum dancing. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, no, uh, what you're seeing is actually they're quite similar. And I mean, it's not as though Charlie is acting like this um, nurturing parent to her. And when she does, she smacks her back. So she, uh, Jackie still takes a very strong maternal role. So no. She's not doing an idiot. I mean, Kate, could Jackie have more fun if Charlie wasn't there? Um, no, I don't mm. think so. It might be the other way round. If Jackie wasn't there, Charlie might have more yeah. fun because she would see her just getting a bit like, oh, mum, oh, yeah. mum. Mm. You know, she's moaning about it a little bit. Um, but Jackie's just having the time of her life, you know. She's just dancing she Jackie, jazz has Jackie full time. Love and it. why not? Let your hair down. <laughs> now, um, Dr Funke, yeah. you've actually noticed a change in uh, Jackie Travers uh, since Jamila. Yeah, I have. I've, I mean, I mean, I agree with what you're saying, but what I've seen with Jackie, as soon as Jemima left, within 24 hours, she was wearing shorts. Like, she was kind of revealing herself. Do and you think seen, she's trying to be Well, I'm seeing she's been a bit flirtatious with Dan, and she's trying to... She, we've seen a different Jackie since Jemima's left. Mm. And I think she's trying... I also think she's feeling, well, where do I fit in? Do I need to stand out a bit more? Which is Charlie's thinking, well, hold, a, hold on a bit, Mum. Just sit in your place. So, so I haven't seen a difference in jacket. Dr. Funke, I reckon mm. she's wearing a shorts because the sun's come out. Yeah. <laughs> well, it could be, but within 24 hours, because remember Jemima used to be wearing all the shorts and even though she was an older woman, she was quite flirtatious. Yeah, but that's different because it'd be freezing, but now oh. the sun's got his hat on. Watch, the, watch it all back. Oh, watch it all back. <laughs> I'll have to press rewind. <laughs> okay, do you think, you know, is this Jackie's kind of time to shine again because she's an ex-performer back in the spotlight, mm. her last days before Completely. she gets too old? And I think, you know, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. like, hey. I think Jackie... Uh, I'm going to ignore that. Jackie at home, you know, has, she's had her moment when she was young and vibrant and she was doing showtime and it's all jazz hands and she does her dance school teaching and, and you can just imagine you know, this is her moment mm. and um, she probably will get performance work after oh, this, you know, yeah. she'll walk straight into her panto, you know, this is great for Jackie, you know, it's showtime, I love it. Oh, well, brilliant. I mean, I'd <laughs> certainly buy her workout DVD. Um, now, one man who comes between a mother and daughter before... Quite literally, <laughs> is Alan Callum, <laughs> who's gone from Jack the Lad to what a boy. Let's see him in action. I'm not scared to get my top off for a, a crowd of 300 ladies. Listen, that's an explosion. If I'm with the lads, the football team, you know, we're getting on it and, and we're, we're chatting up. Whoever comes our way, really watch out. The way I'm going to be with the ladies in the house, I'm obviously going to keep my eye out straight away. It's kind of the cheeky young lady who catches my eye and um, chases on. Look out, ladies. I hope it's Joe. Is this the true Callum, or is this mm. the Callum that he's trying to put across because he wants people to see that? I'll take that on board. I'll take that on board. I've taken it on board. I haven't taken it the wrong way. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't. cool, good, good. Yeah. I haven't. I mean, half the house think I'm fake. Mm. People mis misconstrued my intentions, and I, I, I appreciate that. Like Some people explode. I implode. Okay, fair enough. But I do have a problem with you now. I appreciate your honesty. I don't agree with you, actually. Really? No. Okay. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. No. It's just a matter of opinion, isn't it? Kate, do you think you can keep up? Yeah, no, I appreciate your opinion. No, that's cool. I, I, no, I appreciate your opinion. No, that, thanks for telling me I'm an idiot. Do you think you can keep that up? Or is, no. is, is it, it, it won't last, will Absolutely it? not. And you can already see the effort that he is making to keep it up already. This jaw is going, this muscle is going in the jaw, he's chewing on it, and, and the eyebrows are going up, and he's doing all of this, but you can hear it in his voice, he's keeping it all right back, and, and, and quite low, and, and slow.
The other night, Judy, De Dexter had a relentless pop at, at Callum, and Callum <laughs> took it on the chin. Yeah, no, I appreciate you telling me that. I yeah, no, I appreciate... Why did he take it on the chin? No, you see, I have, to, I have to say, this is... I'm sorry you're wrong on this one, because he, he <laughs> looked as though he was. He does this mouth shrug all the time. Yeah. It's like, yeah, fine, you called me a turnip, not a problem. Um, but if you notice all his... Sublu as Kate yeah. said, you get that muscle, it was like a little bag of ferrets going there, <laughs> and then you've got... Um, he did a tongue poke, which is a sign of disgust. Yeah. He, he's, he did this self-attack. He started biting, he's like eating the inside of himself. Oh, he starts no. biting his lip, and that's, uh, in animal terms, that self-attack means that you feel yeah. powerless to attack externally, so you turn it in on yourself, so... Mm. Well, you don't want to be eating himself. He doesn't want to be eating himself. No, he, no, he does <laughs> not. <laughs> Though some people would pay top dollar to see <laughs> OK, so we talked about him keeping it all in. Yes. Dr Funky, would it be better for Callum to just blow? Blow. I mean, do you know what? I think Blow. it's really. <laughs> what are you I'm talking not taking about? that. I'm not taking it any other what way. Top but, off? <laughs> but do you know what? I think it's really difficult for Callum because we're all talking about him and we're all talking how we should portray. The VT was a completely different person to what he is in the house. And yes, I think he's probably more of a person in the VT because Big Brother do lots of tests and we will know how someone's portraying on the VT. But now, how does he? What does he need to do now? He's probably going to go inward because if he blows up, then it's going to reveal. Oh, wait a minute. So you are quite awkward. You're not really the person you say you are. So he's really in a tough position. Interesting. Well, Judy, okay, so let's say Dexter and Dan have rumbled mm. Callum's nice guy antics. Should he... Sh should he change tactics, maybe? He's like a politician. He's locked into that mm. persona. I mean, oh, no. I'm, I feel a bit sorry for him because yeah. he, he deliberately chose this kind of life coach from hell persona, didn't yeah. he? That he's going to be very reasonable, very assertive. I mean, it's like he's got this coaching book and he's doing it yeah. absolutely by the book. But a coach would only do that for an hour. You know, That's he's right. going to do it for 13 mm. weeks. He, I mean, it's going to be absolutely shocking. But if he changes, we're all going to notice he'll look yeah. incongruent. We've already seen him on that video. Jack the lad yeah. and he lied with that to get into the house so he lied to get in there just to bore us for 13 weeks when yeah. he got in there do we really believe he's a lie though oh. first of all do you think he's no I think it's the truth you know, when you spoke about you, I've, I've got um, a thing that we do sometimes in performance you say alright what animal would this character be and I have got a, an animal for Callum's Come character on. it's through the veins slug Slugs? <laughs> because he, he, he slugs along and they leave a trail where they've been, they slowly slime their way through things and they are quite predatory as well. They will, they will eat other slugs. If we pour oh, salt on yeah. him, will he shrivel up? <laughs> yeah. That's how we do it then. That is really nice. That's yeah, how really we do nice. it. <laughs> well, I still don't have a clue what the heck Callum is playing that. Oh, I can pause myself. Um, but one person who should is Callum's mum. Lynn, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hiya, Lynn. Hello. OK, so let's cut to the chase. Is the Callum in the house, the Callum you know and love is your son? Yes, I know. Oh. He's caring, he's thoughtful, he will help people out. If people cross him, he will do it back. Um, Especially if he's a mum He's not his usual self. He's not as loud and outgoing as he normally would be at home. OK, so he's a lot quieter. Um, yes. Is he normally this averse to a good row? Does he not argue? Oh, he loves arguing. Oh. Why haven't we seen mm. it? He does. He likes a good argument. And he can hold his own as well. Well, then what's going on? Why is, why is he not getting stuck in there, then? I don't know. I don't know. It's frustrating me. I'm oh. just like, some of the things that have been said, I'm like, come on, Callum, give it back. And he hasn't yet, but Lynn, hopefully he I don't will. Know if, Lynn, I don't know if you heard, um, uh, our guest Kate called him a slug. How, yeah, not impressed. How does impressed. that make you feel? Not impressed. Yeah. Really. Bit awkward. <laughs> yeah, <it's not> really <laughs> awkward. Thanks, Lynn. Cheers for bringing that like... down a notch. Was his attraction for Charlie genuine? Very quickly, Lynn. Yes, I do think he likes Charlie, but he's got respect because her mum's there. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I, will, I will say nothing. Lynn, lovely to talk to you. Thanks very much for coming on. Thank you. Cheers, bye-bye. Oh, Ian, you had to take it there, didn't you? I think we all need a moment to just calm yes, down. Do. You know, and like Callum, take it all on board. Um, after the break, join me, because I've got all the house news. See you in a moment. <laughs> Big Brother's bit on the psych. The highbrow, sophisticated.
sophisticated show. Some renowned psychologists are calling the dogs bollocks. Here's today's news. At 11.14 this morning, you wouldn't have to be Dr. Funke to know what Daisel and Hazel... Daisel and Hazel we're up to. Daisel and Hazel. Okay, why are they the wrong boxers? Because they're loose ones, right? Yeah, and you like tight ones. I like tight ones because... I'm very sensitive at the moment. You're very sensitive? <laughs> yeah. So, if I'm wearing these, Why is everything's going to show. <laughs> I'm serious. Really? Yeah. I'm and serious. a pair of tight boxers prevent you from being sensitive? Yeah, like when I was hugging you. <laughs> yes. Give me a hug. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God. Give me a hug. I need to do something about this. <laughs> Give us a hug. Uh, all right, buddy. Yeah. All right. You right, sis? <laughs> Stay away from me! Listen, just because me and Hazel are cuddling, you don't have to always follow us. I'm not going to do anything. You're not going to see no action from me. No kissing, no nothing. Look, stop following me, all right? Nothing is going to happen, not even a kiss. That's not what you said last night. Oh, get back in your box! That is Idiot. what you said last night. <laughs> At 1.16 this afternoon, Jailbirds, Wolfie and Daly were discussing who they think wants to be a house leader. Who do you think's kind of on the pedestal, if you will? You know, like who thinks they're kind of, you know, a leader? Mm, yeah, probably Charlie. No. Not so much like a leader, but just wants to... She just likes to be on that higher level. Yeah. Completely. I'm down, I think. Has she been distant from you since she, she nominated you? Or has she? 120%. Charlie Travers, as house leader, either Wolfie is onto something or she's been listening to that daddy long legs one too many times. Now, it's been a tough day for Jackie Travers, who fell over whilst exercising this morning and hurt her wrist. At 3.38 this afternoon, she returned from a trip to the hospital. Ah. Are you okay? I fractured a bone. Oh, my God! Yes! <laughs> You like staying? Yes. Oh. How are you? I'm all right, darling. Are you in pain? I've, I've fractured my. You have fractured. Bone, yeah. <gasps> fractured. Jackie! Yeah. Mum is back! Oh. I miss you so oh much, all of you. Oh my god! Yay, she's back! You can pull through this, Jackie Travers. You will dance again! Yes! Um, and that's all the news from today, which is a Saturday. But what's going on in the house right now? Ian, are you there? Now, listen, I'm here, right? Every week, you ask me to speak louder. I yep. can't. We're somewhere very special. We're at window number four. This is the safe house, and I have to be really, really quiet, so we'll have a quick look in the safe house, OK? OK. Look, there's Dexter and Gina. What are they doing? Well, they're watching Big Brother. And, oh. Well, don't, <laughs> don't make me laugh, please. I, I, I re really will get told off if I make too much noise. They're lying on the beds, just watching the other housemates. I think they're going power crazy. But look at the luxury. There's a brand new toothbrush that's <laughs> never been used before. Wow. They've got wipes. They've got, they've got mouthwash. They've got everything you could ever dream of. A cafetiere. Brilliant! I've yeah. not even got a cafetiere and I'm on the telly. I mean, that's amazing, Ian, but it's very messy in there. They are mucky pups, aren't they? Well, you know what it's like when, when you're, you get power, you forget the small things in life, like tidying <laughs> up your pants. We've got to, very quickly, just to let you know, Wolfie is very upset because nature has told her something about the future nominations. That's all the gossip I've got. Oh, wait, wait, the curtain. Right, thanks, Ian. Bye. See you in a bit. Bye. See you in a bit. Bye. Oh, well, Ian. Hi. Tell me what's happening. You, you ruined the news. <laughs> I didn't ruin the you news. Didn't. Yeah, I think it was Dave Skinner in the gallery. You mm. ruined it, I, I'm not sure. Anyway, digital, digital <laughs> world. Um, we want your questions for Gina and Dexter, our really? safe housemates. And Why? Because Ryland will be asking them in tomorrow's show. No way. Mm -hmm. to, to Gina and to Dexter Gina directly? And Dexter. Yeah. 
buy your big brother? Is he going to be big brother for the day? I think, I believe so. I'm not sure no how way. it's going to work. It's I want to do the voice of big brother. Well, really? I don't think I'd get rumbled. No, no way. <laughs> Uh, you do have voice. quite a distinctive voice, it <laughs> might be a bit obvious. But no, tweet them into us using the hashtag hash ask safe house. Hash ask safe house. Hash ask, hash ask. Hash, 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 hash ask. And, um, uh, anything else? Yeah, meanwhile on the website we've got all the exclusives. There's been lots of tasky little bits and bobs going on today. The housemates think that the viewers are setting them challenges, but in real life it's Gina and Dexter. Ooh, and amazing. They, sent, they sent Wolfie to jail, they've done all sorts of things today. They uh, made her eat Stinky Bishop cheese. Which it she, was great. She actually put it in the mouth. I couldn't yeah, believe it. She liked it. He must have ponged. Mm. Well, thank you very much, no Ian. Lovely chat, as always. And that is the end of the show. Thanks to Ian Lee and the panel of beauties. You lot have absolutely smashed it tonight, didn't they? Didn't well they? Well uh, tune in tomorrow lunchtime at 12.55 for Ryland's Super Size Celebrity Sunday with Jessica Jane Stafford and Hugo Taylor. Oh, and a very special performance from Eurovision's Chris the Sick Fred. Ding <laughs> dong. See you then. Bye. <laughs>